everyone welcome back to my channel it's Kylan today I decided I wanted to film again because I finally got rid of a really bad fever blister and um, I decided I wanted to tell you guys because it's like so real it's like such a thing that the sometime maybe a lot of people do with it I don't know maybe it's just me but I wanted to share that with you guys because I like didn't come on because you know no one wants to see you do your makeup with like a giant fever blister on your lip but if you guys have fever blisters use ice I like swear by it it literally gets rid of it so much faster and I wish I had discovered it sooner but like towards the tail end I was like oh like let me try this and it literally worked wonders so anyways today we are going to be chatting catching up getting ready and all that good stuff I'm going to be trying some newer things some things I'm on the fence about some old favorites and we're just gonna get into it so if you guys are ready to see the video make sure you give it a thumbs up and let's just get started okay right, so I'm gonna move my hair behind my ears I'm gonna have a little Lord Farquaad moment but it's fine um, I'm gonna go ahead and prime and I'm gonna use the Tatcha Silk canvas today I'm still on the fence about this so I'll let you guys know what I think about it. My camera's legit dying. If it dies in the middle of this, I'm going to actually kick something. <laughs> but yeah, I I don't know. I just don't find myself reaching for this every time I do my makeup. And I also just find the packaging to be... Like I was saying, I just find the packaging to be super annoying and just like not convenient at all. Other than that, I'm pretty on the fence about it like does it smooth out your pores yes is it worth it mm, I don't know I sometimes find that it can enhance some of the dryness on my skin like if I'm having breakouts or if I'm just having issues so yeah sometimes I just like to go in with the hangover primer and anywhere I'm experiencing dryness so yeah anywhere I'm experiencing dryness which happens to be my jawline I'm just gonna add that primer in all right since so much is going on today I'm actually gonna have to turn this into a voiceover but um, I'll let you guys know on the vo voiceover what I think of these products because I don't want the vacuuming to be in the background the entire time. So yeah, just continue watching and we will see how this goes. All right, guys, so I'm so sorry. I did want this to be a kind of talk through video, but it ended up not working out that way. So I am just gonna start the voiceover now. I'm taking the Dior Backstage Air Flash Foundation and I'm going to apply this all over my face. I started out with an Artiste, I think it was an Elite Oval eight or nine brush. Um, it just didn't end up giving me the finish that I wanted in terms of going over some of my breakout areas so I ended up actually going in with my Real Techniques sponge as you can see here on some areas where I wanted it to be a little more coverage and a little less uh, dry looking and then I went in with concealer this is the Dior Forever Undercover concealer this is a newer concealer that I was trying out and I actually do really like it um, I have the shade number 20 and it's really nice um, I would say it's um, leaning a little bit more towards a medium side definitely medium to full coverage um, and I'm using the uh, physicians formula blender to blend that out I think I said real techniques earlier but it's actually physicians formula I love this one um, I don't know what the black marks are on it so ignore that but it is a really nice sponge and then I'm gonna go ahead and set that with the Marc Jacobs finish line coconut setting powder and I actually do like this powder it's not my favorite um, the Peach Perfect one by Too Faced is better, but it is a nice powder if you're looking for kind of a, a less dry one, I would say. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm just using the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. I don't really love this powder. There's nothing special about it. Um, I just have it in my collection so I decided to use it um, I probably will end up giving this one away it just doesn't really do a ton for me um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and bronze using the Kat Von D shade and light palette I hadn't used this in forever and I used the middle bottom shade to bronze and I also used this the entire time I was in New York I filmed a couple clips let me know if you guys want me to just upload that it's not a very good vlog I did try to vlog but ended up forgetting my camera most of the days um, but yeah I love this bronzer it's really great and then I'm using the cooler tone shade on the shade and light brush to add a 
contour rather than the bronze and so I think they go really well together. Next I'm just using the two top shades, kind of like the pinkier shade and then the banana shade and I'm going to go ahead and brighten up the under eyes with those powders. Then I went ahead and filled in my brows with my usual Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit in the shade number 4. This is a step I haven't been able to go without. I'm using the Dior Concealer and I'm going to go ahead and use a MAC. I think this is a 242 brush and I'm basically going to carve out my brows. I just think it makes my brows look so much cleaner and sharper and I've been obsessed with this. I haven't been able to stop doing it and this is one of my favorite brushes to do that with. Then I went ahead and primed my eyes using the Smashbox uh, Lid Primer in the color Light. I went ahead and set down the primer with the same powder we used earlier and a Sigma shader brush and that's just so the shadows don't stick to any wet parts of the primer but I do find that this primer still works pretty well if you don't set it down so that's just an option and then I went in with a Sephora Pro warm palette this is a really nice palette and I took this warm brown shade and I fluffed that into the crease these shadows are actually very pigmented they're really nice and I'm using this on a fluffy tapered blending E35 and you can see I'm just going back and forth windshield wiper motions and I'm also doing circular motions and I ended up pulling the eyeshadow out as you can see at the end so I wanted to get this really blown out effect and I think that this just suits my eye shape so much better and then I went ahead and went in with a darker shade from the palette and I used a Morphe M433 I'm focusing focusing this on sort of the outer corner and then as you can see when there's a little bit less product on the brush I went ahead and blew it out as well on the edges So I went ahead and repeated the same steps on the other eye. We're just fluffing this into the outer corner and pulling it out when we get to the end of the eye. And this just creates a much more elongated, wider shape to the eyes. And then I was showing you guys that I did cut the crease. My camera actually died, but I kind of did a half cut crease with the Tarte Shape Tape in light and I set it down with those two top shades. Then I went ahead and went in with Lily Lashes and these are in the style Miami. I did not end up lining the upper lash line um, and I found that with these lashes because the band is a dark black you don't really have to but I did go ahead and go in with the MAC Costa Riche eyeliner to tight line the eyes just to kind of help blend in our lashes with the fake lashes. I went ahead and went in with the MAC or the Sephora Pro palette again and a MAC pencil brush and I used the first warm brown shade under the eyes on the lower lash line and then I also used the dark brown shade and I only took this one in about halfway on the lower lash line. I also went with a cream colored Makeup Forever Artist color. These are like the lip and eye pencils and this was a cream shade just to help open up the eyes but my eyes watered a ton. And then I used the Fenty, I think this is a Galaxy Shadow Palette and I used this bright blue shade to pop on the inner corner with that same MAC pencil brush. I think this adds something unique to the look, something different, a way to play with color but not go too crazy and I think that it looks really cool helps brighten and highlight the inner corner but you get a pop of blue at the same time. I also went in with the Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit and I used the bottom two shades. I'm not sure exactly what the shades are. I think one of them is Marshmallow and the other one I will go ahead and leave down below for you guys and I just used that on a Charlotte Tilbury. I think this is the Sculpt and Glow brush. Then I mixed two blushes from the MAC custom blush set that I had. One of them was more taupey and the other one was a little bit more of a darker berry and so I went ahead and put those on my cheeks to help blend out the contour and highlight. 
And that is the finished look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought. Leave me any requests down below. And make sure you don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned on all of my videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.